So in 3ds Max there is this tool called a Swift Loop, which is basically the insert uh, loop tool, but it also creates uh, some interpolation between the edges, so it follows the curvature. Sadly, this is not implemented in Blender. The closest thing that you have uh, by default is what you should sell. And if you are in the uh, loop insert mode, you can press Alt and a scroll wheel, and you will see here a smooth value going up. So let's put it at one, and it's going to make something like this. That is a mess, basically. It doesn't work as you would like it to. But luckily, there are some add-ons that help with this. So I'm going to make it really quick. Uh, you can read the documentation, and if you want a more in-depth video on these two add-ons, let me know in the comments. But basically, you will download the Edge Flow add-on and the Fast Loop add-on. Cool. So uh, as you can see, this one has uh, some more functionality, but I will mostly teach you about the uh, functionality to keep the curvature of the mesh. So to download this, you go to the links in the description, go to code, download zip, same thing for this one here, download zip. Once you are in Blender, you are going to go to preferences, add-ons, install, and you will go to the folder where you downloaded those uh, two add-ons and you will simply click install add-on, okay? So I already have them installed, as you can see here. One is the set edge flow, which doesn't have any configuration. And the other is the fast loop, which does has some configuration. So and you can take a look into this if you want. And as I've said, if you want me to make a longer video, let me know in the comments. So here you can set the key maps. This by default is Alt Insert. I remap it to Shift Alt E. Some stuff and um, colors if you want to modify that. And a little bit of help with the shortcuts. But it's pretty simple to use. So once you are in a mesh, you can press the shortcut, Shift Alt E in my case, and you will have this thing going on. All right. So what you can see, you can click, and that will make a loop cut uh, where the mouse is. Uh, this is already better than the original uh, tool because if you were to have something really long like this and you are to be working here on top, and you want to insert a loop, you will have to drag it, because it defaults the position to the middle uh, between the vertices, and that is a mess. So, uh, let's delete this, cool. So with this, just like this. So that's really nice. So that's the first thing. Second thing, let's go back, is that, and the most important thing for me, is that you can press shift click and it will insert the loop following the curvature without messing up uh, the volume. So you can just come here, shift click, and you can easily add some resolution to the mesh. And now if you are wondering how can I make it so it goes to the center of the edge, you can press C. And of course you have here all the information, C, and that will by default uh, center the edge. So you can just uh, shift click like so. And it will keep the courage. So that's nice. And uh, you also have a pie menu here. If you right click, when you can select some other options, for example, remove loop, where you can choose do that, remove loops, which is pretty nice. And if you want to increase the amount of loops, you can press shift and the scroll wheel. And again, you can press click 
if you don't want to follow the curvature or shift click if you want to follow the curvature and which works better uh, vertically here of course if you insert a lot it won't do much so another useful tool is the mirror mode you can press m and that way you can insert uh, loops in a mirror mode basically and i guess you can also remove them in a mirror mode too no you can't but that's sad but okay and let's try some stuff with these two matches um again shift alt e in my case shift click shift click shift click and just keep going like this and you will end up with a pretty smooth uh, surface right and if you have a little bit more defined curvature it will work even more of course because you won't have to predict that much about it and yes that's basically the add-on it works uh, extremely well if you found it useful please leave a like subscribe and I will see you in the next video.